Hello and welcome to session number 79 of Outlander's Guide to Ladaria. Hello! Hello! Hi. Hey! Hello! Welcome, Hi. welcome, welcome! I have a cat on my desk who should not be on my desk! Ah, the water bottle. My best friend. I am in a very hostile mood today. I can't wait to water bottle you guys. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, How uh, has your week been? Oh, oop. Uh, good. Terrible. Oh. No, but look Let's at all of these horses. Better. Look at this collection of horses you have over here. They are quite nice. They are very nice. They have been named by us. <laughs> and that's it. I have nothing else. <laughs> Just admire the names. <laughs> Okay, so, da 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 da, Jory! It's Jory, yeah, hello, it's me. It's your recap day! It is my recap day. Um, so I'm not gonna say the word embezzlement, but the animation budget for this recap did go elsewhere. Um, please don't look too far into it. Um, <laughs> but uh, here, I, this is. Um, I have a screen share. Mm -hmm. No music? No music. Okay. No All music. right. Pause All that, right. turn this on, uh, click on watch, pop it out, make it full screen on the correct screen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, so I did utilize the uh, most um, up-to-date uh, technology to help me narrate this, so um, here we go. <laughs> Hopefully this works. Oh my god, my stream deck fucking broke. <laughs> oh no! Eight voice mod? Okay, we're doing this really clunkily because I have to click on everything now instead of hitting buttons. Here we go. Last time on Outlander's Guide to Ligeria. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so uh, last time. Uh, this is going to go so back and forth. Here we go. Here's the party. Let's Yay! go! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they got hit by a truck. So they take a few days to rest in the Rim's tower. <laughs> Looks like, like you got hit by trucks, so we'll rest in my tower. And then Arin is like, poof, and here's his tower. It comes up like, poof, like a tower, boom. And then, let's see. <laughs> and everyone goes in the tower. Boom, 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 where are you guys? Uh, boop, 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 I'm going to tower, boop, 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 boop. Okay. Uh, While everyone took a spa day, or three, Virion continued to make friends with Nefarionet. This is all guy here. Uh, I'm superior <laughs> to everyone here, and I'm absolutely evil, but I'm in the party now for some reason. <laughs> he was at least able to help Pont Ifex decipher some of the texts in the dust swept grimoire. I'm still the smartest one here, don't forget that. Pont Ifex! After their long rest, the party then walked. For a while, until we came across a definitely not glaring plot relevant abandoned cabin off the trail. <laughs> want to look at that, but I don't want to say it because we're already delayed. <laughs> I also want to look at it. Okay, say less. And they go <laughs> boop, 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 over to the cabin. Cabin is full of mostly junk, but also a telescope and an hourglass that's full of stardust because that's a normal thing to have. Going to scry on the person who used to live here. I'm sure they're not dead or trapped in a snow globe or anything. Pip is able to look at the owner of the house. She looks sad, even though she has a telescope, but also it's snowing, and also she's trapped in a snow globe. Well, this one is going on the conspiracy board later. <laughs> Since it's weird that we have now seen two ladies trapped in snow globes, we use the one connection. We possibly have to try and scry on Onamander. It may or may not have been a good idea. Poof. It's, he's all like, like where you use it, like this. You're watching me. This won't come back to bite you later, I promise. 
Well, this one is going on the conspiracy oh, board right. later. Getting evil Aurora Elks for a minute. The party reaches the gorge, and after a descent, a Rin gets a bad feeling about something. I have a bad feeling about something. We should move faster. <laughs> Despite all attempts to stay hidden, the party soon realizes that they are encountering a creature called Golden Claws. Oop. A lot of them. Like a lot, a lot. And we're surrounded. <laughs> so it's time to fight in. The end. <laughs> you did that like half an hour. That's so good. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> This will go on a conspiracy board later. <laughs> this will go on the conspiracy board later. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, that. That hurts my face. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not that sorry. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your here's your die. Thank you. No problem. Enjoy. <laughs> Ooh, my face. Well then, why don't we jump straight into it? Mother, f this is fine. Oh. Uh something is wrong. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. Shit. Okay. I did this right before the session. I noticed that my thing wasn't loading uh the battlefield with all the minis. So I reloaded an old save and I did it again and I packaged it and now I'm coming here and uh it's not here. <laughs> Oops. Uh oh. So the script might be broken, and it has eaten all of your um, minis, too. Uh, Game over, TPK. I, it, it is. It is a TPK. Hmm. Today is cursed. Today <laughs> really is cursed. Like, this works. But when I go to this one, there's nothing to load. Hold on. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's really bad. Hmm. Uh, I might have to reload just our last uh, save and do it again, but let me just... Yeah. <clears throat> Hack. Yeah, it's not working. It just eats the minis. Oh no. Oh no. The true final mm, boss. The... <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Because how people are put into snow blow. Go, <laughs> snow <blows. laughs> Being eaten. Mm. Okay. So, I am oh. now loading, and I'm gonna uh, put this here. Uh, uh, I will also pause for a moment, make things a tiny bit simpler. Uh, so, yes, we're good with that. Um, as mentioned in the recap, um, while you guys were traveling towards the gorge and you are in that in that kind of terrain where it's the beginning of it, but you're not quite. Uh, close to the canyon yet uh, you have been surrounded by a pack of what, of what uh, are in called golden claws which is a very descriptive name once you have seen these creatures um, so right now within view there are two of you uh, there's a couple more that are behind you beyond the boundaries of uh, the map itself uh, one of them uh, leaps towards pontifex Claws him and drags him off. Um, Arin is the first person to notice this, and he turns his horse around and chases after him. The two of them will not take part in this combat. What the heck? Uh. Thank you. 
<laughs> no problem. <laughs> and Petunia is with them. <laughs> no! no she's this is getting more, more dire by the minute. No, she's a heroic whore. She's going off to fight. <laughs> okay. Uh, let us begin with the initiative rolls. Does anyone have more than a 25? Okay, between 20 and 25. Yeah. yeah. When, uh, mm -hmm. Sunny. What are, what are the numbers? <laughs> yeah. 21 for Sunny? 24. <laughs> 24 for Virian. I was I almost said Jory. Yeah. Okay. I mean Jory 20... also, but Virion. <laughs> Virion. 24. Sunny 21. Yes. Okay, between 20 and 15. Pip yeah. is 20. Oh, Pip is 20. Horses 19. Oh, Bert um, is 17. The horses. <clears throat> yeah, unless they are. If you are mounting them, you can control them mm -hmm. on your. Is Tech on foot next to the horse? Te Tech is on foot. Yep. Okay. Uh, so yeah, horses nineteen, uh, Pip twenty. Anyone else between twenty and fifteen? Yeah, Brooke seventeen. Brooke seventeen. Uh, is that everybody? Wait, no. Tech on thirteen. We're missing Tekka, Yeah. <laughs> And my own thing. Uh, I need a new dry eraser marker. Yeah. One of these is bound to work. Yes. Is everyone feeling old school yet? Yes. Yeah. The only thing we're missing is a cat laying on the table. <laughs> Scented okay, candles. what is uh, what is Sunny's uh, dexterity modifier? Plus one. Okay. So, we can... Did you get squeak? Begin no, where's squeak? Eight. That should Epic be everybody. Music. Yes. Epic music. We're beginning with Virion. Uh, Virion, you just saw Pontifex uh, being dragged off and the uh, RN chasing after mm. him. Um, they're kind of off in the distance. There is two other Golden Claws that are directly ahead of you that are approaching quickly. What would you like to do? Uh, I think first thing is she kind of looks over to Hip, knowing he has a bit of a soft spot for animals. And she was like, are, are we... I, we might need to fight. Uh, are we good fighting? Or should we try to scare them off? I might be able to do something about this, but I don't know. It might not work. Well, I'll let you have your chance. And I think first thing, she just... How fast are these horses? Oh, they're okay. 60 feet. Okay. She'll just kind of head over this way to kind of head off this one over here and she's going to kind of puff herself out make herself a little bit bigger intimidating and try to scare it off but as she does goes to just sort of make a you know a big a, a you know go away get out of here she gets a little louder than usual she's going to cast thaumaturgy to make herself louder just try to scare this thing off Loud Virion. Uh, roll yeah. an intimidation check. Alright. I should have ever rolled this before. Twenty. Plus eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh you can you can see that the golden claws um at first, facing you down is doing the exact same thing as you. Uh, the the fur, it does a thing where it puffs out a little bit and looks bigger. And then whines and lowers its head. It still seems, <clears throat> it still seems hostile, but it's going to avoid you. Okay. That is my turn. Which brings us to their turn. So, uh... 
going in order. Let's see. Their movement is <clears throat> a lot, but is it enough? 40. It sure isn't. Ah! Five feet off! Oh, a little dash. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in fact, since this one is going to avoid Viren, it's probably going to do the same thing. It leaps down from that rock that was 35, uh, uh, 15, uh, circles around Viren, and then charges towards Tekka's horse. Hey! Uh, hey! <laughs> hey! Which brings us, I almost pressed the button to move the initiative forward. I don't need it anymore. <clears throat> that brings us to Sunny. I think she would go over here. Are the horses medium sized? Um, I think they're large. I thought they were large too. Yeah, they're large. Kind of small horses. Well, uh, take her turn, Daniel. Like... So we'll make the horses bigger. Yeah. So you need to apply. probably position herself between Pip and the Golden Claw. And ready her attack. In case it doesn't work. Um, she's going to attack based on uh, on what? What's a, what's a trick? Uh, uh, in, in case. Uh, in case the golden claw attacks. Sure thing. That brings us to Pip. All right, level with me, guys. We don't have to do this. If you're hungry, we can just give you some food. Pip's gonna cast. Oh, I don't know if there's too smart for animal friendship. Let me hide this for a moment. We're gonna try charm monster, and I can target both of them with this. They need to make wisdom saving throws. Um. And what it says it? it does so if you or your companions are fighting it, but we haven't attacked them yet? <laughs> yeah, the fact that you're not initiative doesn't necessarily mean you're fighting them. Uh, what spell is it? Charm Monster. Uh, they need to make wisdom saving throws. Uh, just with advantage, if it's saving throws, someone could send it to you. Go! There's nothing about uh, uh, language or intelligence. Not for this one. Okay. And it's uh, upcast, so you're getting both of them. Yep. Okay. Here's one, here's two. Their wisdom is uh, this much. Uh, that means I have a 9 and a 16. 9 fails, 16 saves. <clears throat> nine, 16. Uh, the 9 is the one that Sunny is in front of, the one that you are also directly in front of. Uh, you extend a hand, and this Golden Claws, for the first time in its life, knows what it's like to make a friend. Aww. Aww. Gets screeches on its chin and wow, it's amazing. I like tell um, a friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, and meanwhile, behind you, Pip, you can hear all this snarling and drooling. That one, tell that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, still, it does not necessarily understand your commands, does it? Like it's just friendly to you. Uh, unless it is a, a beast, then it could understand me. That's correct. Uh-huh, that's correct. Okay. Okay. Then we'll leave it at that. Uh, anything else on your turn, Pip? Nope. Okay. Horse turn, which in this case is just going to be A. <laughs> This is like the name that speedrunners use on their for the characters whenever. <laughs> this is so true. Uh, um, Sid, would you like to decide what A does? Mm, no, I think it would be fun to to 
to not have like Pekka decide that. I think A should decide. Yeah. A should choose their own fate. Mm-hmm. He's A is going to <laughs> run away. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's engaged That's in That's the right call. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Let's go. Lovely. So. A has no uh, loyalty to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the Golden Claws have a particular ability where they ignore the disengage action. They always <gasps> get uh, an attack opportunity oh. to for to a creature that's leaving their range. Uh, now that you know, I will tell you. Oh boy! I don't know. That's a good. That's that's still good. Uh, Eighteen to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> that hits A. Um, it's 27 points of <laughs> slashing damage uh, as A has perished. multiple <laughs> the, the number of claws that descend God upon this horse. Oh. Uh, A turns to dust before Tekka. <laughs> I forgot how much damage they do. <laughs> they, have a, they have a lot of arms, of legs. <laughs> um so that's it for horse. Uh Brooke. I wrote it down as bro on my initiative tracker. I am bro. <laughs> okay. I am bro. Which one is good, Pip? We're cool with this one. Just go yeah, that one it didn't listen to me, so it will face the consequences. No, oh, okay. <laughs> So how does attacking from a horse work if I'm not proficient or do I have any feet in that? Is there any bad thing that could happen to me? Any bad thing if if what? If I attack from a horse? No, it's fine, you can just do it. Okay. We'll do there that. Is, there is no horse proficiency. Okay, that's good. Amazingly. Um at first bonus action to activate the ride. Ooh. Ouch. Okay. And then I start hitting it. Twice. A 12 misses. Alright, I'll hit again. 23 hits. Am I close enough to Virion? Yes. A. Okay. <laughs> it's, like, it's like 25 feet. My god. Paladin Auras need to like learn a thing or two from you. Uh, Alright. I'll avenge you, A. <laughs> Okay, this is Thank number two. Damage. Nineteen. Twen Twenty? Nineteen. Okay. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Uh, Brooke, you, you turn around just in time to see this creature slashing down the horse out of existence. Uh, and so you get yours to charge at this one. Uh, you are not entirely used to fighting on, on horseback yet, uh, but uh, the, where, where the first swing goes a little bit too high for the creature's um, height, you aim the second one and you manage to, to find that well, the creature's height is quite thick, but it's not in a your, that your sword can't cut through. Uh, and you spill its blood. Right. Yeah, so <clears throat> Tekka seeing this horse just be almost evaporated by the amount of claws um, he's starting to swing his core staff around in circles spinning overhead before striking the ground saying you have made your choice and then he will dash around, ignoring all the rocks and the outcrops, and then jumping over and striking down with a downward smash. Let's go. Thank and make you. an attack. 
Ooh. Epic description. Bam, 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 bam. It has to be followed up by epic rolls. Which may not occur. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> advantage. The flanking. Oh, true. There is advantage. Let's go. One more time. There 29 is. hits. Oh. Perfect. And then one more for the road, because we get attacked twice. Okay. 13 bludgeoning. <clears throat> oh, that should have been a roll of advantage. It should be 25. 25 hits. Excellent. That's 14. E. With Brooke distracting the creature from the front, you sneak in behind and you begin to avenge your mount. Um, you hit once, twice. <clears throat> this creature is so... Its height is so thick that your, your staff almost bounces off of it. But you can see you're leaving behind these... Um, you're, you're leaving behind broken bones and bruised flesh. Anything else on your turn? Uh... Let's do some flurry of blows. Let's do some punches to this tough hide that will probably <laughs> not nice. end well, but we'll just give it a shot. Why not? First blow. An adventure. <clears throat> yep, that is a hit. Okay. Oh, and then the second punch, uh, that will be 20. 20 hits. Math, math, math. Uh, let's see. And then, since this attack hit, uh, it cannot take a reaction until the end of its next turn. Oh! That's like the one good thing they have going for them. Uh-huh! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that'd be Tekka's turn right there. Ah, look at the tactics. Tekka tactics. <laughs> <laughs> tactics. Okay. That, uh, um, you, you, uh, in your flurry of attacks. Uh, you manage to find a moment where you uh, the creature distracted by Brook, you slam your staff on top of its head and you uh, manage to uh, stun it a little bit. Um, and it's beginning to lose track of where you, where you all are and it's turning around and trying to swipe at you. Uh, that is uh, a success for you. And it brings us, if you're done, to Squeak. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Greek sees the opportunity. Oh. Uh, I've been on vacation too long. Now I have a taste for blood. <laughs> He's going to fly on top of the golden claws. Stinger at the ready and make a stabby stab. Uh, I haven't... Uh, Attacked with Squeak in centuries. <laughs> I've forgotten all of the modifiers. <laughs> <laughs> he has been on vacation for too long. Uh, squeak, get your head back in the game. And ah. Viren will use her, um, I forgot what it's called. Oh. Um, it's been a while since I had to use this too. Be playing too much as not yourself. Yeah, I've been not myself for a while. Um, Relentless Assault, so you can remake that roll. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. 17. A 17 hits? It does. Uh, yeah. Four points of piercing damage, and it has to make a constitution saving throw. 
constitution, saving throw, that is this much plus... Okay, 17. It succeeds. It takes half as much. It takes five poison damage. Okay, not resistant. Noted. He's quick like on its back. Ooh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, Add uh. four to the damage. Uh, oh, because of the, uh, yeah, because seven virion, virion damage. <laughs> Seven, four. Ah, uh, I was right in seven. Du, 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 du. So, Squeak flies over and just clings onto the creature's back while it's being attacked uh, uh, from two directions. And now also <laughs> yep. from the top, uh, this is Squeak's mount. You all have horses, Squeak has golden claws. <laughs> <laughs> and Sting begins to poison it. We're back at the top of the initiative. Very on. Um, All right. Oh no! But actually, before we do that, we can, uh -oh. we can do this uh, uh, on top. Uh, everybody can roll a perception check. The others are already dead. <laughs> <laughs> you hear you hear the sound of a far away uh, natural one on death saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Petunia covered in a bloody mess. Victorious. The only survivor. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, is this everybody? Yeah. Cool, nothing happens. Viren, your turn. Oh, oh cool, oh. thanks, love that. Um, so I think seeing that this one is still, you know, snarling and whatever, she's going to move on in here. And as she goes to bring her, her rapier down, it gets kind of sheathed in this crackling energy, and she will cast a booming blade when she attacks it. Mm. Okay. I've, it's been so long since I've... ...done this. And I'm an elf, so I'm gonna see if I can crit. Mm hmm. When seven will hit otherwise. Nope. Damn. That's, uh. I do love how you say it, just, I'm an elf, so. Yeah, I'm an elf, yeah, so. <laughs> it's not because I have a feet or anything, so. <laughs> uh. There. Sneak attack. It's about time I throw out these uh, dry erase markers that do not work. Right, oh my was god! 16 piercing and 5 thunder, and it's wow. got this like, kind of wub wub uh, dubstep energy kind you of can't... around its feet. <laughs> the wub wub is already taken! Nope, it's thunder, sorry, can't help it. Thunder is confirmed wub wub in this universe. <laughs> yeah. uh, I suppose Pontifex is in tears, so I'll allow it. Yeah, so someone's gotta. I'll wait until he finds out that a fish is wub wubbing. Fish lady. Yeah, so I can't help it. So once again, Virian does look a little bit confused about this. That is my turn. Okay, that brings us to the Golden Claws. Uh, Pip. You're giving screeches to this creature, uh, like yeah. under the chin, and it's like Pip is uh, is like trying very carefully for for Bob's Bob's body to like cover the carnage that's happening yeah. on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Just, don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> and it's like, you know, stretching its neck forward a little bit so you can scratch its cheeks and, and part of the neck. And then when it seems satisfied. It's going to bite Sunny. No, uh, oh, no. I mean, uh, it's it's friendly to you, not to anyone else. Well, uh, and unfortunately, it does not understand. Close your eyes, Pip. This is a little beyond a simple animal. Uh, however, Sunny can. It's it hasn't been her turn yet. She actually she actually yeah. rolled the same as the golden claws, but her dexterity is lower, so she actually gets a reaction here. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. 
So this is this is like when somebody is like, oh no, don't worry, my dog doesn't bite, and and so you try to pet <laughs> it and it bites you. But you're prepared to smack it back. Mm. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, Sunny's attack, and that's a hit. <laughs> One second. Uh, as far as Pip would understand this, by the way, um, to his limited knowledge, since he can't understand these monsters who do look, for the most part, like beasts, um, there might be some level of magic interference. Um, mm. Or just magic coursing through them, and that makes them something uh, slightly more than beasts. Uh, I counted Our the 15 damage. Does end when Sunny attacks it. Oh, okay. So it always hurts when <laughs> when uh, I I deny the warlock uh, uh, I <laughs> one spell slot, but yes, this is this is how things go. So um, back to the Golden Claw's turn. Who is going to first? Uh, one attack. I said bite, but it starts out with with the uh, claws. Uh, <laughs> this is a seventeen to hit Sunny. Hits. Okay, that means that's a. Oops, not sixty six. Jesus, it is twenty three points of slashing damage. Oh, I I forgot the. It's 30 points, <laughs> sorry, of slashing damage. Um, okay. Uh, all of this doesn't happen. But I do need a strength saving throw. Oh, no, I don't. I'll need it later. Uh, you're good. Second <sighs> attack. Sorry. Misreading how this works. Uh, the second attack still on Sunny. Well, actually. Nope, still on Sunny. 24 to hit. Uh-huh. Four. I'm rolling a lot of... Oh, no. That's a, that's a terrible roll. 21 points of slashing damage. Okay. Onward to the second one. Uh, the no reaction thing, Tekka. Does it uh, uh, carry over until your next turn? Uh, yeah, I think it's Tekka's next turn, yeah. Okay, End good to know. Uh, so I don't change anything here. Tons of targets, including horses. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three. That is Virion's horse. Uh, 16 to hit the horse. And it's the horse. I think, and we're uh, done. Uh... Yes, I think I'm gonna protection that one because I don't think Virion wants to fall off her horse right now. <laughs> okay, what does that do? Uh, disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Which makes it uh, eight twenty-three. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's okay. The horse takes. Uh, oh, this is a Hans. Uh, it it's takes Hans. 32 points of slashing damage. Poof. Hi, Hans. You're a good Hans. Hans. Uh, that is a 6. No, I'm gonna start rolling a d4 actually to decide who it's attacking. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 1 is Brooke's horse. So, uh, <laughs> all the horses first. <laughs> 19 to hit. Oh my god, I wanted this roll on you guys. <laughs> I use uh, definitely not survivable. It's a 37 points of slashing damage. Okay, let's see two attacks uh, with no additional effects on them. Uh, Golden Claws did also both attacks. Uh, so we're done with that, which means we're moving on to Sunny. All right. Um, bonus action, second wind. 
because she's heard. Okay. And then she's gonna try to hit it again. Aren't these mystical horses, like the ones that regenerate? No. These oh, okay. uh <clears throat> these bypass resistances. <laughs> or well, their their uh attacks count as magical. Eighteen eighteen hits. Okay. Sunny attacking on number one. It's wiggling. Wiggle, oh, it's wiggle. One. It's six damage. Noted. And then tries to attack again. Fifteen misses. Okay. That's a turn. Pip, uh, your new friend has attacked your old friend. Oh! That's no you good, feel... Petunia. Wait, Petunia? Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, you're not Petunia, you're Bob. You tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bob. Bob is officially a trickster. I you ready for this? The I trust you. Oh, Bob is ready. Double flaming fist attack! Pip leaps off the horse, runs to the other side, and while he runs, is flicking his uh, left index finger forward. The sparks fly from his iron ring and create bonfire beneath golden claws. Mm. This mounting costs half your movement, if, um, so you may not make it all the way up there. Oh. Yeah, it will be 15 to get to this spot. Because he'll flank with Sun if that's what you're going for. Well, it wasn't, but whatever. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Sure. That's fine. Okay. What save? Dex save. Okay. That makes it a six. Okay, it fails, takes 2d8 fire damage for an 11 total. 11, got it. Um, bonus action. Do nothing. Okay. <laughs> so, horse time, Bob. Bob will make an attack. Boob. Bob is going to uh, use his hooves. I forgot something, but it is to my detriment, so we're not going to reset for that. That's a nine. Uh, nine to hit? Yeah. Bob is not. Uh, Bob is a trickster, not a warrior. Bob! I'm sorry, it's my fault. I couldn't get one. I couldn't get five feet further. <laughs> <laughs> Bob does not blame you. Okay. Broke. <laughs> not broke. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> Okay. 23. Um, do you mean to flank with Thekka? Uh, you might want to like scooch over, yeah. Sure. <clears throat> if, you, if you want to just crit fish, but a 23 would hit. Marion's so small compared to Bro. <laughs> it's really funny. One second. I'm crit fishing. <laughs> like two heads, You're two not whole an heads. Elf. <laughs> well, I'm not. Okay. Still a hit. Uh, 
Okay. 18 damage on this boy. And <laughs> then gonna hit him again. That's a hit. Besides the horses, okay. nobody has missed them yet, I don't think. Oh no, but there was one miss from Rook at the start. I am I'm oh, lying. Oh, supposed Winter to be plus lying. 9, not plus 11. <laughs> but it should still hit. 17. Uh, wow, my brain is slow. Okay, plus... Oh, that's not my calculator. Uh, uh. You're already including Virion's uh, damage bonus in there? Yeah. Lovely. Okay, noted. That brings the total to... Um, you would all be able to tell that this creature is uh, at the end of its line. Just holding on. Barely. Alright, seeing that, I think I would lose my last 25. <laughs> Two, okay. As close as possible. That's my turn. Okay, that brings us to Taka. All right, <clears throat> let's go for it. Oh, and uh, that should be with advantage. Let me roll one more. That's 29. That is a hit. And like so. Eleven is enough to put an end to it. Ooh. It's still a little confused from that one below you managed to struck on its head. Uh, and as Brooke nearly bleeds it to death, um, you find an opening to hit at the base of its neck and you hear a crack and it stops moving. Uh, and yeah, I think with that, Tekka just gives like a, a quick nod to Virion before uh, dashing onwards uh, with Brooke. Like, probably like that. Uh, squeak has lost its ride. What would it? What would you like to? Hmm. Where? Where did Squeak go? Wait, was it in the? Oh, <laughs> I, I picked up. I picked up the thing, and apparently, I dragged the Squeak along. It belongs to uh -huh. Sid now. <laughs> um. Well, let's see. I think Squeak is going to fly, uh, like, 30 feet up into the air and let out his intercontinental ballistic missiles down on <laughs> Golden Claws 1. Pew, 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 pew! Pew, pew, pew! For 12 points of force damage. 12. Noted! Anything else from Squeak? That's it. Okay. Um, a series <laughs> of very tiny projectiles that just shoot out of Squeak's, uh, um, of Squeak's armor. And uh, they all have perfect aim. They go up and down in an arc. And then they do tiny, tiny, tiny explosions. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, burning off parts of the Golden Claw's fur. Uh, at the top of the initiative order, we get another perception check from everybody. Oh, no. <laughs> Is it based on hearing or smell? No. Okay. Okay. It is based more on uh, uh, on feel, like uh, touch. Uh, Virion, 
in the middle of combat, it's extremely difficult to tell, but it feels like the ground is shaking. Uh -oh. Uh, hey, it's your turn. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I think there's a second where she kind of assumes it's that residual energy from that spell she just cast. This is still new to her. And then it keeps going after <laughs> the Golden Claws guys. It increases. And uh, she just looks down and calls to everyone else. Um, we might need we might need to move sooner. Rather, the ground is shaking. And she will go to. Kind of meet up with everyone else and Ash is how sunny looking? Is she looking kinda hurt yet? <clears throat> uh a bit. Okay. And she'll just uh call it to Sunny specifically, like, don't worry, we're right behind you here, and use her um warlord's favor, so Sunny gets nine hit points back and four ten Ooh. hit points. How many? Four? Yeah. Yep. Nine. And as she goes to kind of, she can't quite get to where Golden Claws is at quite yet. Um, so she goes to just ready her sword. And when she does, there's that flash of silver, almost moonlight again. And she will cast Sacred Flame on Golden Claws. Ah. It needs a uh, deck save. Is extremely unlikely, but yes. eight. Yeah, nope. Fails. Uh, six radiance. Okay. Golden claws really sparkle in your radiant light. It's kind of <laughs> pretty if it wasn't for the fact that it's also covered in the blood of your companions. <laughs> that is my turn. Okay, that brings us to it. The golden claws. One, two, three, four. That's not a D4. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Sunny! Before you hit. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to use Blood Curse of the Eyeless Amplified as a reaction from Brooke. Okay. So I take 1d6 damage, and then I subtract 1d6 from every roll. Mm. Oh! Alright, this is now for your first attack. Okay. Oh! That brings it down to a 15. Oh! That misses. Armor class 6, dude! <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, second attack. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, wait. I need to roll for that as well. Okay. okay. Um, subtract three from <laughs> uh, a 30. Uh, and this is on Pip. So 26 to hit Pip. <laughs> yeah, that is. <hits. laughs> I tried, I tried. It was, it was a good try. Uh, and the one I missed it was the good one. Uh, on paper, that's going to be 29 points of slashing damage. Ouch. Uh, the but you are my friend! Friendship with Pip. <laughs> friendship ended with Pip. Um, what about the fire? Uh, I need to make a concentration check. Okay, uh, but does it take damage at the start of its turn, or is it... Uh... Oh, wait. Concentration. <laughs> the horses are gone. Oh! <laughs> the horses are concentration. Yep. Okay, Oops. well, that's fine. Good for them that uh, um they got to disappear in a painless manner. The fire remains. Okay. Uh, when does it do damage? When did we roll for it? Uh, on if it stays there at the end of its turn. Okay, because since it's within range of two creatures, I don't. Um, uh. Ah? Uh? 
Uh, how dare you! <laughs> <laughs> so clever. I feel like uh, running away from fire is a very, very universal instinct. <laughs> uh, anyways, Sunny! Alright, let's finish this. She's gonna try to attack. Fourteen misses. She's gonna try to attack again. Twenty-five hits. Okay. Eleven damage. 11 damage, noted! Ah, Sunny just swinging as hard as she can, uh, is trying to take out at least one of these too many legs. Uh, <laughs> the creature is particularly resilient. Uh, somewhere off in the distance you hear an, um, an explosion, the kind, the fireball kind, uh, as things are also happening off screen. It's a really cool battle, if only you could see it. Um, <laughs> if that's Sunny's turn, that brings us to Pip. You're, you're just awful. You know that. Uh, oh yikes! I, I trusted you. Pip's gonna uh, lash out a hand and try and pull this creature back into the fire with telekinesis. <laughs> Needs to make a strength save. Telekinesis. This is uh telekinetic shove. Yeah, I'm trying to determine if this is a magical effect. It feels like it should be, yeah? Seems, seems pretty magical, I mean. Okay. <laughs> but it's also kind of a Cause, natural cause, thing. Cause, yeah, and the idea treats also like psionic abilities a bit differently. I don't even know if this would qualify. Um... Let's go with uh, it isn't. So it's a. Um, it is a strong creature, but I've rolled it 12. Hey, it fails. It is pulled back into the fire and needs to make a deck safe. This is a magical effect, though. Yeah. Which makes it an 18. It succeeds. It takes no damage. <laughs> oh, it's no damage. Okay. Yeah. Um, but now we're flanking again, and Pip's gonna take his, his Skyward Dagger and attack. Oh, stab. <laughs> Eleven. Pip he doesn't do misses. a lot of stabbing. <laughs> he really doesn't, though. Uh, what's my that? My thing. Uh, hmm? Boy, I haven't I haven't played myself in forever. I'm trying to remember what the <laughs> range on that. Uh, no, we're too far away. Sorry. That's fine. It would be very low benefit, even if it did. I play myself all the time. Okay. That would make, it make me feel better. Hip, hip is done. Okay. Uh, this will be the horse's turn, but I am removing this from the initiative. They gone. No more horses. Yep. Instead, what happens is that those tremors that you sense to Vivian, everybody feels them now. The ground shakes and shakes and shakes, and suddenly, um, da -da -da -da, no one. Uh, Brooke and Tekka both need to roll dexterity saving throws as the ground directly beneath you collapses inward for a moment and then shoots out outward. What? Oh no. <laughs> this is fine. Surely, surely. Uh, I think I'm gonna use inspiration. This seems bad. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> Plus nine plus eight. These are good saves. Uh, so that's eighteen. 
18 total? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, did you use this one? Wait. Uh, the one here. One. The place version. Yoink. Aw, it was not that plain in the end. Speaking Why of, I lost my inspiration from today. Oh, yeah, same. Speaking... What? I don't have I, I don't have I, the wing inspiration either. I, I don't have today's inspiration oh, today because reset things. That's right, we did reset. So, I am playing this on the conspiracy. One, five inspirations two. as well. Uh, win inspiration. And this is going on the inspiration board. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, where were we? The ground explodes outward. Both of you can choose where to land outside of uh, the, these four squares. So anywhere on any of the squares directly adjacent to that. Uh, and from this hole... Oh, that's supposed to be a bigger one. Um, so actually, you have a bit more options because anywhere outside of this. Um... <laughs> Let me make a good circle. It actually needs to stay there for reasons. E <laughs> good enough. <laughs> uh, this is now a hole. And it goes in pretty deep. And it's this wide. And from it, uh, you see another creature crawling out. Uh, this one matches more the color of the landscape that you're in. The sort of reddish orange shade. Uh, it is... Massive, very different from the uh, creatures you are currently fighting. Uh, it has a very pointy snout that bends upward, almost, uh, almost like in the half shape of a horn. Uh, and it has a very long tail and spikes on its back. Oh, uh, stoneborn scourge of the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Who rolled for this random me? encounter? <laughs> Pretty sure it was Matt. Austin. Oh. Uh, did sorry, I, I'm trying. I'm just I trying to decide. This uh... JRPG named <laughs> <laughs> villain. Uh, it's a, a tiny bit over the grid. Uh, here you go. It's smaller With five now. health bars. <laughs> um. So this creature. With a sort of like backwards, uh, th these spines that you see on its back, they are very much bones. Um, it's like part of its rib cage is just uh, uh, backwards and it goes upward. And holding onto these bones is a man. Uh, you don't have a whole lot of time to take a good look at him, but you can see from like the. Uh, just what little you see of him off the the uh, in the corner of your of your vision. Uh, this is a Yavelsi. He is uh, particularly tall, almost as tall as the Verbolgs are. Um, he his skin is this sort of orangish shade. Um, it's holding onto those bones as hard as he can. He seems to not be having a great time uh, as the creature climbs out of the hole. The man is kind of screaming and just holding on for dear life. Uh, I'm not gonna have his name show up yet. He, yep, he's uh, on top of it. <laughs> Wee. Uh. Oh, whoop, oh, I dropped my die. His initiative is down here. Lovely! That brings us to Brook's turn. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Indeed! <laughs> <clears throat> All right. <laughs> I was busy finding a gif, so I, if I ask this, <laughs> this was already decided and answered, 
I'm sorry, but does it look hostile? Yes! <laughs> okay, <laughs> just making sure. Might have been grinning, you know? <laughs> uh... Fair to ask. I'll guess I'll hit it. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. That's a sixteen hit. Sixteen does not hit. Mm hmm. That's a 16 hit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at the name. Look at our name. At the name of our um, of our voice channel right now. You see the subtitle? <laughs> uh, on that second one, Vir's like, Brooke, what are you doing? Stop messing around. And you can re-roll that one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't expect <laughs> us to come up right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> it was really oh, open God. for another 16. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, the deja vu moment is over 28 hits. Okay. Maybe. It's that. <laughs> 22 damage. On Stoneborn. Huh? Scourge of the Blood. Scourge of the Blood. Yeah, Don't forget. Full title. They will know if you're not using its full <laughs> title in your narration. Austin is quoting me. <laughs> it's me. It's my thing. Okay. <laughs> Anything else on Brooke's turn? I don't think so. T -t -t Click. Lovely. That brings us to the Yavelsius turn. Um... Brooke, now that you are, you are facing down this enormous monster um, and you're able for a moment as you're swinging at its neck to take a better look at a man that's riding it. Um, in he, He's wearing very light clothes um, that for the most part don't really cover much of his body. He has his like stomach exposed and uh, he's sleeveless and wearing uh, short pants. Um, and he, he has weapons on him. He looks like um, uh, like he's prepared for combat in this environment. Um, as you're hitting the the enormous monster ahead of you, um, you see the 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 Yavelsi on its back, uh, let go with one hand of one of the bones and sort of waving at you and saying something in this incomprehensible language. And then he pauses for a moment, and then he says, Oh, you're Plurnan, yes? Me spe he's speaking Plurnan now. Um, and then he gets thrown around a little bit as the monster is uh, shaking off your sword, Brook, and uh, uh, trying to dodge your blows, and he just goes, ah! and keeps attempting to hold on. Um... And uh, uh, he'll take his turn and uh, try to stab it just in the back and fail <laughs> miserably. Uh, I think that's my first central one actually. Both times. Uh, so glad he came to help. Um... <laughs> that's it. <laughs> we're, we're moving on. <laughs> Taka. <laughs> what an entrance. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? This seems like a bad idea. Why not do it? Uh, yeah, Tekka's gonna try to jump on board and grab onto a uh, part a rib of this reverse uh, ribcage. Oh, right with him. Yeah, let, let's get on board. Let's take a ride. <laughs> Is that acrobatics? <laughs> what would you call this? I am I going know. to say that it is acrobatics. Okay, Ooh. 
That's 21. 21 is enough. Uh, you, as the creature is trying to, to dodge Brooke's blows, you find a moment when it uh, bends to one side towards you and you grab onto one of these uh, protruding bones and uh, uh, with uh, the, the rest of its movement, uh, it's just perfect for you to be almost flung on top of it and you manage to land in a way where you're not stabbing yourself on the bones. Uh, the Yavelsi who is uh, uh, there with you, I'll put you on this square, that's fine enough, you're on its back. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, Yavelsi who is like essentially directly behind you, he just says, oh yes, good, collapse on here. Uh, what else do you do? Um... Yeah, I think Tekka's sort of limited. I think Tekka will just give like a like short nod to this stranger, and then um, I'll use patient defense uh, to use the dodge action as a bonus action because uh, things could go wrong real quickly. So <laughs> Tekka is prepared to dodge and weave anything that might appear. Okay. And that okay, is it's third. dodging. Squeak. Mm -hmm. Austin, you're muted if you're talking. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> uh, you guys are getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I'm... I'm dashing. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Okay, that brings us to the top of the round. Everybody roll a perception check. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I should do this. Oops. Ignore that. I mean, I'll just roll it again. So I get advantage on these. Sixteen. Damn. Okay. Uh, so starting is the first roll the one I'm ignoring from Jory, and then everything yes, down yeah. is the perception. Okay. Yeah, that, means, that, oops, uh, that means that both Brooke and uh, at this point uh, Virion, uh, which makes sense because you're right here. Um, as uh, this monster is joining combat and about to attempt to eat Brooke, um, you're still feeling oh. these tremors in the ground. Something else is coming up the hole. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> it's gonna be like a clown car of a hole. <laughs> a clown is climbing out, yes. <laughs> the sun is dismay. Maybe it's gonna get eaten by something bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps coming. <laughs> The bigger and bigger Matryoshka monsters. The doll of terrible <laughs> creatures. <laughs> Viren, it's your turn. Alright, um... It's a feel like it's pretty <laughs> much like right... Like this right under us sort of feeling? Like pretty close or hard yes, to tell? Yes, pretty close. Alright, um... Yeah, she just sort of like... Looks like she's about to... Like instinctively kind of bolt, but keeps herself from not doing that because this thing is here and hungry and she like ducks under its tail here um and i think she looks over to the situation over here and uh um i think we should take we should take care of of that thing we should take care of that thing and she will bonus action steady aim and take out her gun and just sh make a shot at golden claws over there Okay, go for it. Yes. I'm gonna crit fish. Nope. Uh, 26 though. 26 on the golden claws hits. Alright. We should custom make you a triple advantage button. Yeah. <laughs> I 
is wiggling. I should be able to do it. Yeah. Uh, 17 piercing. 17 on the golden claws brings it up to this total, which I wrote wrong. Here we go. Then she'll reload to take a second shot. Bang. It's just normal. I keep the losing golden... everything. Oh no! The golden claws would flinch a little bit, first from the sound and then from the actual hit, um, while Stoneborn doesn't seem impressed. Ooh, wrong. Yeah. Uh, that's 19, 19 to, hit. to hit, which works. It's good enough. Oh, nice. 13. Here's second. And 13. Nice number. Boop. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. That brings us to the Golden Claws. Um, Sunny and Pip, who are right in front of it, would see it turn its head towards the other monster for a moment. There isn't fear in its eyes. Inside, there is this sort of acknowledgement. They are very much working together. You can just understand as much. Oh, no. Uh, so, between Pip and Sunny, even, odd, even, that's Pip. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let me see. It. A, an 18 to hit. That hits. Uh. Ooh, I lost my mouse cursor. Uh, this plus that. That's 30 points of slashing damage. What? Jesus. If he's unconscious, Sunny is next. That's 26 to hit, Sunny. Uh huh. Which makes it 29 points of slashing damage. Okay. And it will move out of the... Th oh, wait, the fire's gone. It's concentration, yeah? Yeah. You can stay here. Uh, the dozens and dozens of claws fall upon Pip. Honestly, just the strength of the blow itself, even if those claws weren't incredibly sharp, you'd still be knocked down to the ground. And uh, for a moment, everything goes black. Uh, Sunny, your turn. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, she's gonna try to finish it off. Ooh. She's gonna try to finish it off. 13 would be a miss. Is there any help from Virion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, consider that so your reroll. Okay, that's a crit then. Oh yeah, she crits on 19s! Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Plus. Woo! Nineteen damage. Very good. I would say that it's on its last legs, but it's hard to tell which legs that would be. Uh, but yes, it's very hurt. <laughs> How many legs does it have left? <laughs> well, out of, out of eight, <laughs> I would, out of eight, it has one. Um, <laughs> oh, it is on its last leg. All right, check yeah, the sure. check. I'm aiming for the last leg. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that a, is that a crit? Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, oh is sure Sunny is. finishing it off on her own with two crits? Let's As go, she Sunny. should. As she should. Okay. It's wiggling. Wiggle, wiggle. But Your dice like are very damage. wiggly today. It looks like a lot of damage. It needs to be a lot. Uh, so we have this much plus 23. You have made it by one. Ooh. 
Um, no, actually not. But yes, you have made it. My math is off. Yeah. Oh, no, I just by one. Amazing. Okay, anyways. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, hey. I can do math. Uh, <coughs> that was important. It was really close. I'm slow today. I had to bring out my calculator just to add the things together. <laughs> uh, but yes, Sunny just seeing Pip collapse just on the other side of this monster. She just lets out all of her strength and pushes her blade through, uh, skewers this monster in two fell, in, in two uh, uh, slashes and uh, kicks the body aside. You can also take this because then it's yank. Uh, any bonus sections or anything else? Mm, I'm assuming attending piece. wounds is an action, right? Uh, to stabilize someone, yes, it's a it's a medicine check, so it's a, it's an action. All right, she's still gonna stay with Pip. She stands between Pip and the other monster, like daring yeah. it to come after him. Yeah, yeah. Brings us to Pip. Death saving throw, please. Fail. Six is a failure. It is Stoneborn's turn. Uh, Stoneborn is has uh, so this creature has emerged from an enormous hole, and the first thing it's going to do is fully pull himself out of the hole, which would bring him here. Uh, it leaves Virion's range. Very so. needs her reaction already. Oh, that's true. Yep. The, uh, let me align it to the grid. Uh, carries along Teka and the the serious stranger. Uh, I, uh, da, da, da. It's these three squares. So we're gonna be fully out of them. Circles around Brook, who has already been attacking him, um, and. Uh, on this turn, oh, uh, what's the range? What's the radius? Fifteen. <laughs> I hope these are not broken, but we'll find out. It works. Let's make it a color that we can actually see with the color, with the tint. Uh, will black work? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, this isn't quite the actual color, but let's make it a nice, pleasant. Wait. Oh, the tint is all the way to zero. Eh. Boom, there we go. Okay. Uh, that means I should be able to make it black as well. What is going to happen here is that this creature lets out uh, um, a roar, and from uh, its mouth, uh, what comes out is some kind of smoke-like substance. Uh, and it is going to completely, as soon as I can place this, it's on top of Tekka. Um, just look at it from the top. <laughs> Uh, it is going to completely obscure the area. Uh, this is a uh, this is a casting of a, of darkness. Everyone in it is blind, and from the outside in, you cannot see within this radius. Then it is going to attack. Uh, it can see in the darkness. Uh, Brooke, unless you have any way of seeing in darkness, um, of mean magical darkness, so that vision uh, is insufficient. Um, I got something, but I don't know what it was anymore. You do? Devil side. Oh, I can see! Yeah, I can see! You can see normally in darkness, both That's magical the invocation and you picked! 
Yeah! Nice! Hey. Okay, this will not be an advantage. Can I do the <laughs> thing again? With the... If it's attacking me with the Blood Melodic? Um... You... Did it on this round, didn't you? The the attacks on... Uh, on Tit and Sunny? Was... was it not? Mm, I think that was last round. Okay, then yeah. Because this time I did just went down because I wasn't looking in the direction. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, you can do it. So you remove a d6 cool, from yeah. all rolls after you hurt yourself a bit? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Good. Oh, I need to roll again now. Huh? Okay. Uh, remove six. One moment. Okay. Uh, removing six from next roll, which is not an advantage, which makes it uh, uh, a 19 minus six, which means Ooh. 13 to hit Brook. Nope. Armor okay. class was 90. The next attack is still on Brook. Okay. Ooh! Minus six. Okay. <laughs> uh, the total is going to be 11. Nope. That's it for Stoneborn. Wow, okay, Brooke, the perfect counter. It, it, it's your turn. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We take that. Um. <laughs> I think... I did it. I'm gonna hit it. <laughs> we'll try to. Okay, Brooke, you are enveloped in this... Sort of smoke, it doesn't really promise this. It doesn't really hurt your eyes or your lungs. Um, and you can see through it just fine. All right, second attack. These are both misses. Uh huh. You can uh... see through it, but it's uh, it's just. The creature, as massive as it is, you're not really missing it. It's more that it has a very tough exterior, and you can hear your sword just clanking against its, uh, its legs. I haven't hit the right spot yet. Okay. I think that's my turn for now. Okay. Uh, give me a moment because I need to address a private message real quick. It wasn't me. <laughs> it was not you. This time. Interesting. I did not specify this. <laughs> that means... Do you think we could leap in this hole as a means of escape? Or would that be really, really bad? <laughs> Considering there's something coming up it right now. But what if that distracts this and that lets <laughs> us leave? Hmm. Just cut it off at the pass. <laughs> yeah. Just give it a little wave as we pass by. Okay. Uh, this has been addressed. Uh, right now, it's the turn of the Yavelsi. Um, Tech, can you feel him like bumping into you every once in a while as the monster is thrashing about? Uh, um, and, and the man says, "Ah, sorry, sorry, but you know, it's it's very good to miss you." 
and you hear him just attempting to hit this this thing uh, in the back, um, which goes way better than it did before. So, um, the Yavelsi. Oh wait, it's a disadvantage. Hold on. So this is a hit, but this one needs to be rerolled. Hey, he cannot see either. Wait, no, I'm a dummy. He can see. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I remember my own stat blocks without having to read them again. Do, 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 do. And this much damage. It's a shame nobody can see him finally hitting anything <laughs> on his turn. <laughs> uh, uh, I saw him, I saw him! <laughs> yeah, you well done. yes, Brook. <laughs> you, you cheer him on and he does... He waves at you. Seems happy. Uh, and Takai, it's now your turn. Um, yeah, so Tekka can also see through magical darkness. Hey. What? <laughs> <laughs> what a joyful time! <laughs> what? Did you yeah. both pick the same invocation? <laughs> Are these sure both from the wolf? Brooke and Tekka both winking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Every single person in this area of darkness can see. That's kind of upsetting. <laughs> and Squeak just looks over, waves at them both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I think... What this looks like is, uh, yeah, Tekka, like, grabbing onto one of the ribs, like, legs, like, like, uh, grasping around it, and then just trying to slam, like, the side, uh, try maybe to, like, to reach the underside, uh, of the torso, uh, with the core staff. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Oh, uh, so that is uh, 26, yeah. Okay, and that, that is still an attack roll, yes? Yeah, that's attack roll. Yes, just... yes, 26 hits. Yeah. Mm. Good numbers. Cool, cool. Uh, and we are going to uh, use uh, a superiority die to add some additional damage, because that's pretty cool. Let's see here. And then, there we go. That's 18. 18! Yeah, and then we'll do the, f the other attack. Uh, or actually, I'll probably do the flurry blows now while I know that I can. That makes more sense to me. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Whichever order you want. Mm -hmm. 28 hits. Let's go. Heka, your entire childhood spent climbing on trees suddenly pays off. Uh, you are <laughs> yeah. fully comfortable up here. There's Let's plenty go. of spots you can grab onto with just one hand while you use the other uh, to strike with your quarterstaff and you find yourself on having enough balance to even let go uh, from like for a few seconds to even strike with your fist and then mm -hmm. you grab onto it again. Nice. Um, and also, because of the, um, the additional damage that happened there, uh, the superiority die, uh, Brooke, you have the opportunity to move half your speed without opportunity attacks. If there is like some vantage point that would be better for you, but you could totally choose to not use it as well. Um, you know what? I think getting away from this hole might not be too dumb. Okay. And I should have done part of that last time. So half you said? Yeah, half your movement speed. Can I go through his left? Or is that not possible? Like this, uh, this is a... Yes, this diagonal is fine. Okay. 
Right. And you have to really skirt yeah. around the hole, but you have you have long legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, and uh, this thing should roll a dexterity saving throw. Should it? Uh, yes. Okay. According to this, but it should. <laughs> never got anything against that. So. Just a normal roll. Which means uh, I have a 16. Nope, sorry, it's a 17. Okay, nothing happens. That's okay. Uh, so that was the second um, flurry of blows that did nothing. So now just the second attack. Uh, the 12 is also damage, yes? I even added that. No, 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 that was no, the second not... flurry of blows. Yeah, seven was. Oh, that was to hit. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, and yeah. yeah, 25 succeeds. Okay. Um, it needs to roll a constitution saving throw. Ooh, a con save instead. Uh, how are we doing with these? Oof. Well. <gasps> it is stunned until the end of Tekka's next turn. Somehow. Ooh. I don't know how that works, Ooh. but it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, how that looks? No. I don't know. Maybe there's a sore spot on that deck. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So this thing, it has evolved to um, like its back is meant to keep things away from from it, from the back of its neck and just its uh, back overall. Uh, so you moving past its spines, you find that the flesh appears actually quite soft. Uh, you find. A, you strike a vertebra, and uh, the entire body goes limp. Also, darkness is concentration. It goes away upon being stunned. <laughs> oh, man. Um, wow. I'm going to very quickly just move everything, because it's really hard to move the area of effect if I don't. Fair. Oop. Remove that. I'll throw it up here and bring you guys back. Is Brooke here? Uh -huh. Uh, was who? Did someone move Brooke or was it me? Okay. Uh, yeah. Um. And then it was forty damage. Fourteen damage. And that should be that. I can't believe you just stunned, <laughs> stunned born. <laughs> yeah. I don't uh, understand myself, but squeak. Squeak that was amazing, is going Sid. to run over here, <laughs> rummage in Pip's backpack, where he knows he will find a potion of healing, and uncork it with his tiny little devil hands, and pour it into Pip's mouth, saying, Come on, come on, you little munchkin, wake up, I need you to get a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> and Pip gains the full ten hit points for it, doesn't have to roll, just gets max hit points. From healing. Oh? Yep. Nice. He just does? Just does. Just squeak there. Yep. Ah, oh, yes, okay. Mm. Lovely. Thanks, uh, Pip... thanks Wolf. <laughs> uh, Pip opens his eyes and finds out that the nightmare has gotten worse somehow. Oh, Anything else no. from Squeak? Um... Nope. Lovely. Right at the bottom of the initiative order, right, that, right after Squeak, uh, something climbs out of the hole. No. And immediately takes its turn. Uh, oh, chasing... oh this, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was tempted to make something bigger than this, because it just for a joke. Uh, and I'm like, ha, no, but no, we're going with it. Um, bigger golden claws. That is another golden claws following after the hole that Stoneborn has made. Cl uh, claws its way out, goes after Virion. A <laughs> long. <laughs> the golden claws are already pretty long, but like we could just idly. Oh, God. 
and Jerry would enjoy this. Enjoy. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy I'm attacking it. you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Appreciate it. Any reason this is not... No, it's a, it's a standard attack. Uh, that means 30 to hit you. Yes, that, that does hit. Move that. Womp. Oh, I missed a die. No freebies. Oh, all of them. This plus that plus this plus this much. That is 33 points of slashing damage. Ouch. Ah, uh, does this count? Hmm. No, I'm gonna say no. Okay, second attack. Da -da 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 -da. It is 19 to hit. 19 hits. The damage on the second attack is this plus that plus that plus this plus this much, which makes it a 31. 31 damage? Uh, 31 slashing, yes. Okay. Yeah, Virion's not looking good. Uh, and these golden claws have drawn some blood and they're done, which brings us back to the top of the initiative. Uh, the ground keeps shaking. Virion, it's your turn. All right, uh, <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> oh, the, wait, the ground keeps shaking? <laughs> yes, it's a faint rumble. Nothing is being dug anymore, but things are moving through the tunnel a stoneborn made. Cool, love that. Um, so, Virian just... Oh, you know what? I'll give you an insight check no. at the start of the uh, of the round, all of you. Insight or perception? Insight. Insight. The DC is going to be this much. Okay. I'm missing Tekka. Uh, oh, uh, what were we rolling? Sorry. Insight. I'm Got also it. rolling for our new friend who has this to roll. Okay. That makes it one, two. Uh, Virion, Brook, uh, and also a new friend. A well, potential friend. Doesn't have to be a friend. Could be an enemy. Who knows? Um, Who more? When the Golden Claws <laughs> uh, climbs out of the hole and assesses the situation, there's a moment of hesitation seeing Stone, uh, St stone Born, I can say this, um, being uh, uh, stunned, almost knocked unconscious. And then he climbs out and attacks Virion. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, these things seem to be working together, and it's easy enough to guess who the boss in this relationship is. Um, and so, it, it's a good enough role where both of you would uh, uh, understand on your own that uh, if Stone... I keep just saying Stone. If Stoneborn is no more, the Golden Claws will disperse. Cool. Um... And the uh, well, yeah, that's that's fair. Uh, the the guy on uh, the back of the monster who is along with uh, uh, with Tekka uh, would say, uh, "Just focus. Get get the basket, guy. Get him." <laughs> And you can right, proceed with turn? your turn. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, yeah, Virian just bleeding and not looking great. She just kind of charges forward a step, and as she steps, she kind of finds, like, a, a shadow to move through, and she'll use her um, wolf blessing to teleport 30 feet this way. Whee! Just, whee! And, um, yeah, and then she turns to to Sunborn over here, and she takes out her gun, but uh, again, instead of that bullet, she seems to channel some uh, 
bright light through it and she will cast Guiding Bolts again. The next time you shoot your gun, it doesn't make a loud booming noise. It's uh, something... Um, it's a much softer noise and uh, light envelops Stoneborn. Roll your damage. And damage, I oh. mean, roll your roll. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Be a hit, but is it a crit? Time. Is it a crit? Nope. <laughs> That's it's okay. not. All right, so uh, eighteen uh, radiance. Yeah. Got it. This being guiding bolt, it means it's now glowing. Well, eh, attacks are already at advantage because of stun, but... Yeah. Uh, anything else? Nope, that is my turn. Okay. Uh, from Viren to the Golden Claws. Oh, no, wait, this is the other one. This needs to be out of initiative. Uh, Sunny. Okay. She will, since Pip is up, Move over here and start hitting Stoneborn. Scourge of the Blood. Thank you for using its full title. <laughs> of course, if it has such a long title, might as well use it. Okay. That is a crit. You even had advantage you because need... it's sunned, but uh, uh, you didn't need it. Oh. Who needs it? Exactly. Is she 25 feet? Sure. That's decent. So you said I have advantage? damage. Yes. Okay. Because Tekka just pretty much knocked him out. Well done, Tekka. Well. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> That's he misses. Too bad you're not an elf. <laughs> so true. Sunny has just landed three critical hits in a row. She can get a little miss. Exactly. Stop judging. <laughs> She's trying your, her best. Your numbers up here. Um. Oh, so are right. pretty balanced. Oh, is this that's sunny? What... You have a sunny counter? That's cute. I just noticed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we counted them separately. Oh. I started okay. the last session. She already oh. got 420. <laughs> 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 and, the oh, 90, and the 90s, I didn't count them. But... Is this it for your turn? Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Lovely. Pip, I can tell you right away that... In the brief moment where your consciousness left your body and you opened your eyes in a different place, you were there uh -huh. for only a few seconds. You could see the tree in the distance. You were on a rooftop uh, and you were taking in the scene and trying to figure out how to get down. Um, you glanced around, you had just enough time to realize that you were on your own. And now you're here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Pip uh, sort of sits up, looks at what's going on, and uh, sees Virian. And uh, he's just going to reach down, grab a few rocks that are just already on the ground, cast Magic Stone, um, and gives one to Virian, one to Squeak, <laughs> and the one that he has, he's going to throw at Stoneborn. <laughs> Take a pot shot. <clears throat> And that'll be... This is at advantage, then. Because stunned, yes. Twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two hits. And that's... Fourteen points of magical bludgeoning. Boop. Um... Boop, boop. Wow. 
You guys have turned this around pretty quick. Okay, yep, you hit the stone. Oh, sorry, Sunny. <clears throat> Apologize to the mini. Um, <laughs> the, the stones hit Stoneborn and kind of embed themselves. Well, the one embeds itself into its skin. Uh, you make a mental note of the spot where it landed to, in order to pick it up later. Oh, this uh, this this just a stray rock. It's, it's oh, not that important. You beat it Does off the ground. Okay. It? Yeah, it may have sentimental value now, but <laughs> yeah, Pip's just gonna hide behind this rock. <laughs> okay. Then brings us to Stoneborn, who is stunned. Does the stun go away now or at the start of your turn, Taka, or end? Uh, I'll check to make sure. It is end of Taka's next turn. Wow. Wow. That means <laughs> that as we move on to Brook, Brook still has advantage. You're also flanking, but yes, it is stunned. All right. Monks. I've been waiting all evening for this. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Sunny rolled two threes, you rolled two fours. Alright. So the first I've attack is a miss. All evening for this. <laughs> hey, first try. <laughs> okay. I'm not 25 feet away. No, you're, you're pretty far. I'm very far. Okay. In damage. Anything else on your turn? Uh, no. <clears throat> okay. You are all making the most of this opening uh, that Tech has provided for you. Let's see how he does with advantage. Hit. Yes, yeah, um, um, a peculiar sword, obviously of Ladarian make, that is very long, slightly curved, and uh, very thin. Um, and it seems kind of frail. Like Brooke, you feel like if you were to hold it, you could probably snap it in half. But it's thin enough that it slides into uh, Stoneborn's uh, uh, skin really easily. Now that he's hitting. Uh, this much. Second attack. At advantage, you still a hit. <clears throat> First lightly. No. Yes. Better damage. Boom. Lovely. Back to Taka. You've seen all of your uh, allies take advantage of this moment. Uh, and Tekka will do the same. Yeah, he kind of like unwinds his legs from around one of the ribs and stows himself and goes off. Let's go. Or maybe not. <laughs> 15 is not enough. Yeah, so let's try again. Twenty-six is. That'll do it. We throw off balance for just a moment, but you find your footing again. Oh, that is not nineteen. Uh, that should be thirteen in total. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that would be one. Oh. <laughs> that would be not okay. So okay. sixteen damage. Mm -hmm. And then we're doing flurry of blows. That might be 23 hits you might be able to finish him off okay <laughs> with a punch of all things i don't know <laughs> how that goes but sure 13 is enough wow. how I would you like to do this Taka? i don't hey. know what this looks like um okay I have a weird idea. I don't know if the physics of this would make sense. Um, Let's hear okay. it. <laughs> so I'm thinking, uh, Stoneboard is stunned. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So Tekka is going to like grab onto the neck and then just like dr force drag it against uh, the rib, one of the sharpest rib on its back, and just like piercing its own neck. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yes. Okay. And with uh, the neck being such a vital part of uh, any creature, really, um, with a shriek, Stoneborn is down. This was Tekka's kill, just fully <laughs> Heck, earned. Yeah. I'm gonna move you guys back. And here's your mini. Wow. That, I don't know how that works. Oh, that's funny. Uh, no. uh, and as hinted at previously, you did well. There were more of these coming. Uh, but with uh, Stoneborn down, this Golden Claws begins to scamper down the hole. There's another one whose head is popping up, and this one just pushes it down, pa <laughs> goes past it, and then you hear just the tremors in the ground slowly fading off into the distance. With the battle over... We're going to take a small break. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool monster. Yeah. Let's yeah. call it. Well, you destroyed it. It was amazing. I was worried until it got stunned. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Well stunned. Well stunned. <laughs> well, stunned. <laughs> well stunned. Well done to all of you. Sid MVP. Mm -hmm. So true. Wait, why does Tekka have a one out of two? Does he get a Don't new mini too? Don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. Don't worry about Everybody's it. getting new Spoilers. minis. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a be, dream form? He will be your your time. Are you soon. a mecha teka? Mecha teka <laughs> would be too good for this world. <laughs> no, it's just Super Saiyan. That's all. Okay. Ooh, his hair gets longer and blonde. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wait, I I bet I know what it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have a hunch, but I'm not I'm not worried about it. It's fine. <laughs> it's gonna be I'm just, fine. I'm ignoring it. <laughs> okay. Uh ten minute break. All right. right. Starting All right. in a little right bit. Now. See oh. you in ten. Bye. See you then. Wonderful. With Stoneborn defeated, uh, the Yavelsi um, climbs down from the body and kind of goes around a little bit and, and waves at all of you and says, Ah, yes, yes, excellent. Y you are all so grateful. And then he begins to uh, cut into the head of the creature and is working on like removing its that horn protrusion that was on its snout. Um, that's what he's doing. Off in the distance, you hear um, the sound of the horses are gone, so footsteps, as eventually, a few moments later, Pontifex and Naren also join back up, uh, as they too, the, the golden claws that they were fighting, also dispersed upon hearing the sound, the roar, the dying uh, uh, roar of Stoneborn. Marion tells you how cool the fight was, and it's such a shame you missed it. Uh, what? Hey! 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 Mm? Are you mm? collecting ingredients? Uh, ingredients. He yeah. tilts his head to one side, um, and mulls over something and points at the head and says, um... Truth. I'm collecting truth. Proof? Truth? Um... Teach... No. Um... Treasure? Uh? What is... What do you call? And he's just kind of gesturing at the body. When, uh, when yeah. you win, 
prize. A tr trophy? Hey. Yes! Yes! That one! You... You hunt things and take things ah, to remember yes, yes. them by? I, I am a hunter. I have been hunting this bread for a very long time. Uh, thank you again. Thank you so much for your attitude. Oh no. I don't like him. <laughs> I, 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 he's I, I, whistling while he's uh, uh, plucking the, the body parts from this thing. He moves on eventually to the claws of the golden claws. Wait, are they actually golden claws? They're actually gold, yeah. The fangs, the claws. Made of gold? Uh-huh. I might reconsider this whole trophy <laughs> business. Because <laughs> <laughs> he paid off so that. well last time you did this to a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tempt you. Actual gold. How's, how's Pip looking, by the way? Is he still pretty... Oh, Injured. horrible. Yeah. yeah. I think as he kind of scoots back by Virian, she'll just sort of kneel down. Just, hey, are you were hit pretty hard there. He, let me take a look. And mm. she goes to kind of check him over. And as she does, there's a another little flash of lights. And again, she looks a little confused at what just happened, but he will heal for 2d6, which is so 12. 12. Because Pip because yep. Twig is there. Whoa! How'd you do that? I am honest, honestly between you and me and not... This is the second time it's happened and I'm still not quite sure. That feels a lot better. Do it um, again, do it again! She'll, she'll try, but nothing happens. Hmm. <laughs> And it just sort of started happening lately. The last well, few days. Did something happen? Did you make a deal with someone? I think did you read a book? Did you were you born with it? <laughs> Like when when Pip maybe, mentions were you Nikia, recently born with it? Maybe it was maybe it's Maybelline. Uh, like when Pip mentions Nike a deal, I think Virian just sort of idly like just touches the necklace that she's been wearing, the the moon. I mean I'm not sure if it was a deal, but maybe. Huh. <laughs> uh, he... Why don't you sit sit down? You're still not looking. Okay. Great. Okay. I think Brooke goes over to the gun. Says, "We'll take at least half of that." Oh, to <laughs> to the Avelsi. Yeah. Uh. What is half? Well, <clears throat> since I said at least, imagine you can split it into four, into four piles. We take three of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see him like count on his fingers. Uh, roll a persuasion check. Okay. Okay. So you see him <laughs> count on his fingers, and then he holds up eight fingers, and he closes four of them. And he says, th this much. I don't really think this was a negotiation. <laughs> Looking at you being by <laughs> yourself, and us helping us, and all of us helping you, one force is decent. Considering who we could split it between all of us. Mm. 
Mmm. Ugh. Oh, fine. But I take that. And he's like, he holds up the, the horn from uh, uh, Stoneborn. Okay. What? Is it oh. for anything other than bragging rights? Br bragging, yes. Uh, I take trophies. And important, it makes Gorge um, good? Does uh, anybody else only catch you call about... Series. Mm. Uh, Satisfied? Would you call yourself a collector? Uh, what is collector? No, no, <laughs> he's not the one. Uh, n my name is Trogan Zran Levi Kralis. And, like, he <laughs> moves up to Pip with, like, holding out a hand in... Like the the proper plurnan handshake gesture, and he's like, "It's it's so good to mix you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pipple. Pip is just laying on the ground and raises an arm weakly up. Bloodied hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, he he's Hello. he's been smiling this whole time. Um, he Tro seems quite Troge happy. But not to live in later, Hogan. Trogan. Trogan. Yes. Um, and then he I'm sits pep. down next to you, Pip. Um, and he says, I I look at you. Uh, and uh, he takes out some bandages from his backpack. He gestures for you to extend your arm, and if you'll allow him, he's going to patch you up a little bit. It's not okay. like... Actual healing. This is a magical healing, but he's bandaging you up, and making sure you're not bleeding profusely from any injuries that Viren couldn't fix. Thanks, Trogan. It's good. Um, your name? Mm. Oh. <clears throat> Pip. Pip. <laughs> Pip. And he kind of chuckles to himself. Um, Pip, you are actually the person who in this group has had the most interactions with mm -hmm. Yavelsi. Um, he. And this is weird. Not really. None of the other it's ones weird in a sense. Uh, y the other, yeah. Spoke Florinan, right? The, yeah, exactly. So you just very few words here and there. This is. He's not the, very good at it, but he's the best you met thus far. Ah, uh, he has clearly studied your language um so you know already that uh, uh the language of the Yavelsi is exceptionally complicated um it's not only difficult but it also happens to just be very 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 different from Plurinan um nothing in Plurinan sounds quite like it uh and much as Plurinans have trouble understanding and speaking their language they struggle with yours uh but besides the fact that he's Otherwise, pretty fluent with it. Um, he is a he is very much a Yevelsi. He looks like one. He's not only tall, but he also walks on the tip of his toes, uh, which m brings him up almost to Brooke's height. Um, he um, he is the the color of uh, their skin has been described to a lot of you as matching the. Uh, the colors, the natural colors of the Bloodstone Gorge, and you can see this. He almost blends in. He even has clothes that uh, uh, are they're dusted with the scent of this place. And uh, he, he he's obviously um, a hunter who is used to this particular terrain and works here. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I was getting to the point where like him chuckling at your name, you've seen other Yavelsi doing the exact same thing. And you have come to understand in the past that your name kind of oh, sounds no. like some kind of other word in their language. <laughs> <laughs> You're a 
You're a pretty good speaker, Trogan. You must be really smart. Uh, thank you. I sing very hard. Do it. <laughs> it's... I have already. Oh, you're singing right now? N not right now. Uh, tell okay. me, <laughs> Pip, um, <laughs> what brings you into this dangerous chair? Well, we've come looking for someone called the Collector. Mm -hmm. you, have you heard of him? Mm. Or her? Or them? I do not know this. Um, uh, what do you, what do you call? Collector. N n n Person. Ward. And he looks very proud of himself for nailing it. <laughs> And it feels a little awkward on the floor. He's going <laughs> to sit up. <laughs> <laughs> and you are good. And he gives you this gentle pat on the back and sends back up. You are bandaged up. Um, very sore, but um, he has cleaned your wounds. You feel like you'll be fine. Uh, also, I'll just give you like the full name of this guy. Uh, whom you can just call Trogan. Wow. <laughs> I'm just going to copy and paste that. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, and seeing Pip being good, he, he glances at the rest of you. Uh, are any of you below half your hit points? Oh, Virian's really rough. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he he gestures for Virian to, to approach, and he still has some of his like um, bandages out. So sunny. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sonny will take him up on his offer. Um, and you can see, besides bandaging you up, he is making fresh medicine on the spot. He has some ingredients in his pouch. He collects, um, like, there's a shrub over here, and he reaches over for a couple of berries, and he grounds them down. He makes this space that he applies to your open wounds that stings at first, but then it feels cool. Uh Seems to know what uh, what he's, he's going doing. to grab some of those. <laughs> <laughs> Pip watches and then grabs it. You see him spit into this concoction that he's making, uh, which apparently is part of the process. I get a vial and ask him to spit in it. <laughs> <laughs> he will. He will do it. Uh, and then he, like, pointing at Viren and Sunny, also says, uh, "Your your names." Um, Virian, it's nice. Do you often find yourself catching rides on giant things that would rather kill us all than a strange predicament to find yourself in? You see, you see him furrow his brow as he's trying to like follow along, and then he points at the hole. Well, he points at the at the body of Stoneborn and says, "Um, that is my first bread." Um, it is called, um, uh, what is it? When you, when you are born, uh, but out of rocks, stones, born of stones, stone, stone born. Um, I, can we back up to the bread parts? He, he tilts his head. Um, I there is but many many that is first that i um kill well you help i mean i'd say that you help you will we'll go back to this um what is there an, another word other than bread? I've, I've been able to piece everything else together but bread is stumping me um monster Monster. Animal. Beast? Yes, beast. Okay. Good. You are good. 
I, I am sorry. Um, sometimes your language presumes me. You know, our language presumes a lot of things, actually. It's not that far off. <laughs> he nods along. Makes sense to him. I don't- this is- I think this is my first time meeting a Yvelsi, so... I don't know if Burian has before, but I don't think it's come up since I've joined. I don't I, think um, any others. I don't believe so. The party themselves, yeah. I believe they've only met one. He was a merchant a long time ago. Uh, yeah. Pip w uh, has seen many in his hometown. Uh, and has traded with them previously. Okay. Uh, so yeah, tall... Um, Particular coloration, they, they stand on the tip of their toes, and they're quite tall, even without uh, counting that. Um, known to live uh, in this canyon, and to indeed have a particularly difficult language. Um, they have a good reputation among Plurinans. Um, they are just believed to, to be harmless. Um, helpful, and they, they are these, uh, mainly known to be traders, like, they'll always travel around in these uh, low carts, uh, and they'll bring all sorts of odd things to trade, and they, they, ne they never take money, they take items. Um, that's, I think that would be based, in, based knowledge that you don't even have to, to roll for. Yeah. You yeah, recall cool. Pip saying, you Yvelsi love trash last session. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Um, their vox are kind of curly. Uh, this individual has two particularly big ones uh, on his forehead that get close to almost being uh, called horns. Uh, and once he's satisfied with patching both Fear and Sunny up, and, and Sunny also chooses herself, the Trogan will go back to uh, collecting claws. Um, he is, you see him separating them into piles. Um, and Brooke, you're paying attention to this. Uh, he's separating them into four piles. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Tekka will walk up as he's working. And at first, we'll probably just like, uh, yeah, sort of just look at how he's working, uh, and and then say, hmm. "Trogan." Mm-hmm. I am Tekka. 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 Do I do I sing it right? You are. Tekka. I have a question. You oh. have traveled under rock, and that will point to the hole. Mm-hmm. Is your home near? Near. No, not near. Uh, and he he will point further up ahead. Uh, the direction where he's pointing, you don't immediately see all the way to the horizon. Um, anything that could be possibly called a home. Um... So he points that way, and he says, um, you go, and then, um, and he points downward. Uh, canyon. Um, bottom. Yes. Bottom of canyon. That way. Do you live with many others? Yes. Um, a village. We wish to go there. Will we be welcome? Greeted? <laughs> yes. Yes, you are welcome. Uh, we are... Um, we, um, what is the word? We, we, we laugh 
at you. <laughs> hmm. Tr try again. The uh, mm, we learn you. You teach. No. Like you, you like. Yes, it. we like you. I like this guy a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's growing on me. <laughs> <laughs> you seem yeah. capable to have lived that, and again points to the hole. He, uh, you can see from his expression, he's not quite sure what capable means, but he, but he nods along. He does like the the a smile and nod thing. Strong. He... Ah, yes. Trogan, we have lost our horses. Moving fast to the canyon. How do you travel to the canyon? Ah. Um. I climb. You do not ride those pointing to the... To the golden... Uh, no, no. Um, Yavelsi, climb. We are good at climbing. It is, um... Mm. And then he just nods. Doesn't finish a <laughs> sentence. <laughs> On our way to your home, we will have a race. Oh, he, um, he seems to understand. The fact that Tekka, in particular, in this group, speaks slowly seems to be very helpful for Chogun. Uh, and uh, after a moment to decipher your words, he eyes wide and he nods. He says, yes, um, I win. <laughs> he grins we at will you. see. I am strong. And yeah, pointing he, to yes, the stone Yes, you are. Uh, he he points over there, yes, and says, "You are very strong." I mm -hmm. like you. <laughs> Good. Show um, me what you do with these animals. He nods. He will crouch down and. Uh, uh, shows you how he is collecting his uh, his trophies. At the end of which, right. as mentioned, he's separating them, and uh, he <clears throat> he keeps his word. He's separating them instead of counting them. It's like by volume. You can see so like um, a bigger claw on one end uh, is matched by a lot of smaller ones on the other. Uh, so he's making this very fair. And in the end, he takes a quarter of the total spoils. Hmm. Trogan, have you met a large, big bird that likes these? Um, Holding a one in the claws. Hesitantly, he does like a little arm flapping motion and looks at you. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Um, and then he counts on the tip of his fingers and then up to the other and he holds up the number seven. Um, this many times. Aww. We have also met Glimmer. Glimmer. And then he says at you a word that makes no sense. And it's very hard to reproduce. So the the way that the Yavelsi speak have this kind of intonation to it, it's almost like singing. Um, and you understand that although you would never be able to to repeat that sound back to him, well, you have a mask that can do it actually. But <laughs> you figure <laughs> that that's what he calls her. Yeah, I think Tekka will just nod at that. Mm. 
Um, she is my um friend. <laughs> Teka, yeah, again nods. It will come up and hug him. And say, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. <laughs> you are good. <laughs> uh, good. You are good. He. You are good. Y you. <laughs> yes, I am good. I am good. So all of you us are. are good. We are. We all. We're all very good here. But I, I don't know how many more things are going to be coming out of that hole. So if we're going to just be complimenting each other, maybe we can do it while we're walking. You are good. <laughs> <laughs> we take uh, our. We <laughs> make horses <laughs> go fast. Oh, that's a question. Is Petunia here? Petunia is dead, Tekka. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't Petunia, you join the fight with Patrufax and... The horses are concentration, and, and oh, so they all went away. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Got it, got it. <laughs> uh, Trogan is repeating back your snoring sounds. He seems to think that it's a word. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You've broken him. Mean sleep. <laughs> mm. Ah, sleep. Mm, okay. Once uh, the um, the trophies have been split up, uh, he will start walking that way, and then he ah, take a go, go. Turns back. <laughs> we started. <laughs> he didn't even wait to go. <laughs> He turns back and just for all of you to come. Um, and he, he doesn't go for too long, about five minutes or so, but he takes it to a spot uh, out here. There isn't a whole lot of cover in this area, but he find, he seems to know that, the, that further up ahead that there is a much cooler place that is actually uh, next to a, a surprising to find pond here. Um, and he gestures at the shade and... You know, I was talking at this, the same color as the landscape, and I did lose his mini for a good 10 seconds there. <laughs> um, <laughs> so from this angle, I could not see it. Camouflage. Yeah, that's, it's working. Uh, he gestures at the shade, and then he, sa he says... <laughs> <laughs> I would like to pick up the other three piles. Oh uh, yeah, you, you collect your treasures. Uh, a lot of golden claws and fangs, uh, and uh, some of the spikes of the back of uh, Stoneborn. And okay. you may take a short rest. And it is here <laughs> that you find out that Trogan is quite talkative. And given the chance, uh, if nobody stops him, he will talk that entire hour. Oh, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> um... He tells you about uh, his home. Um, he gives yeah. you more precise directions about where it is and how to get to it. Um, he and Arin has like um, he lets you know that the path that Shogun is describing is not one that the rest of you can take with ease. Um, as Shogun mentioned, uh, the Avels are excellent climbers. Uh, and without even equipment, they can just go down uh, extremely steep, down or up, uh, extremely st steep walls. And Arn tells you that you guys will need uh, to use harnesses, which will slow you down uh, if you want to go the path that he is describing. Uh, but yeah, he gives you more di uh, direct uh, directions. He starts talking about his neighbors and the drama they've been up to. And you understand half of this because he... The, the further, the more detailed the story gets and the fewer words he actually knows uh, to communicate <laughs> those concepts. So some of the stories are wild and um, and there even comes a moment where he warns you that if you're going to go down the uh, towards his home, um, he says uh, he does again like um, an arm uh, flopping motion and he, he says uh, you need to be very crazy 
there is a dragon in um, the canyon. It holds up the topaz scale, points at it. Do dragon! Points at it in recognition. She friend. But we dragon, like the dragon is a friend. Um, small dragon. Is the... there big dragon? No, but dragons dangerous. Dragons are dangerous, and he nods we to himself. Five. He counts on his fingers in his language, and he gets to the fourth finger, and he says, five? No, no. One more. Uh, five. He holds up the fifth finger. And he bursts into laughter. <laughs> five dragons! Yep. Um, right? Am I, I counting right? I think that's I right. I <laughs> do not believe you um you are doing me a laugh. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> not doing you a laugh here. Completely mm. serial. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um I've seen three, at least. Unless I'm forgetting I I think it says a lot that I feel like I might be forgetting a dragon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kirill, Muriel, Cloud Fallen, the, um, the the Topaz Dragon. Oh, we've met a lot more than five. <laughs> there's the uh, po Pontifex has seen the Razir Gamir. Uh, and there's Razil Gamir, so that's six. Six for Pontifex. Pontifex would have the highest score. Let's see. Razil Gamir, Kirill, Muriel. We're the baby Astralin. dragon. Yep, yeah. Astralin. Oh, yeah, Astralin. Cloud Fallen. And Runamella. Runamella. And then the Lord of the Skies. So, so Pontifex seven probably for says, Pontifex. nope, seven. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen seven the most. <laughs> Um, and the more you guys are, are like adding up to the total, the more Trogan laughs. Um, he leans really close to you, Pip. Just your noses almost touch, and he's staring you in the eyes. And then he stops laughing and he pulls back, uh, shocked, but no longer incredulous, and says, Wow, you are. Good. Yeah. Did you just like do something with that? Like, did you stare into my soul? Um. Did you. I look into your lies. Whoa. Uh, I am purple. <laughs> yes. I mean, to be fair, we are honestly, I think I would qualify us as um, a little crazy too. So it works out in the end. He nods along. Oh, I lost my spot in my notes. Drogan, here he is. Oh, good. Um, he goes back to telling his tales, uh, but nothing is as impressive as you guys meeting seven dragons. <laughs> um, and instead, it's just a lot of like uh, village drama 
uh, people, <laughs> dating people. He, he tells you some of these stories like it's shocking that this person is dating this other person. You have no idea who they are. He doesn't give you a whole lot of context. Um, but he just has this... He, he seems to be in this permanent, excellent mood. Uh, and he, he laughs at his own stories, at his own jokes, the majority of which don't really make sense to you. Like he's trying to do word plays that you can't follow along with. Uh, but he's treating all of you as if you are just old friends. Um, and at the end of this, as you're all... Where's Sunny? Oh, she's down here. <laughs> um, as you have been resting for long enough and you're beginning to like uh, pick up your backpacks and uh, uh, express that you're about becoming ready to go. Uh, he also pulls himself up and uh, dusts his legs off uh, and he points at Tekken and says um, race about to uh, about to do. But um, one moment and he goes up here uh, standing up in in front of both Sunny and uh, Virion, uh, and he smiles at them and says, I have something for um, the ladies. Very rare. <laughs> and uh, he produces from his backpack two flowers. They have uh, a vibrant blue petals, and he extends one towards Virion, one towards Sunny, and he says, Here is a confusion for you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think that's the most accurate thing that you've said since we started talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sunny Ooh. also takes her flower and says, yeah, uh, thanks. And he, he nods like he did something great. Uh, and <laughs> faces Tech again and says, go! And runs off. Oh. Yep. Tech dashes off. <laughs> 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 and Arin sees, sees them sprinting off and says, oh, no, they, they shouldn't attack her. No, wait, that's... Arin be begins to also chase and then turns back and says, wait, Pip, your, your horses. Do um, we want horses or or do we want something else? Uh, you get up horses, until... I'll catch up with them. Oh, okay, yes, we're splitting up. That's, uh, that's fine. <laughs> that's never been a problem before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we did get you, to after dice, them. Right? Yes, yes. Uh, if you okay, haven't cool. uh, done your fulfilled, yes. finish your short dress. Cool, cool. Why am I getting words confused now? No. Um, and Sunny puts her nose in the flower and takes a breath and seems happy. Uh, how long does it take for the horses to be summoned? Well, I'm thinking I could summon bears instead, and they have a <laughs> climbing speed. Oh. Oh my god, you're going to just <laughs> I can summon four bears. Are they large? They are medium. You Well, for one, I think they need to be large in order to ride them in the first place, but I think I've let you ride on ho on bears already in the past. Um, bears are big. It's up to you. But um, climbing down with them, you don't even have like saddles and harnesses. It would be <laughs> it would be very dangerous. This is like steep, almost entirely vertical walls that we're talking about. So you you'd just be falling down your necks. Is it is it even worth bringing horses into this? Like, would you're not would close to the canyon to get... yet? Like, you're about. Okay. Uh, I think you're still a, a day away from oh, the canyon okay. proper. Yeah. Horses, it is. Uh, I'm going to. They all have different names minis. now. Every time. What? No, we're not e doing that. Every again. time, new names. No. No, I'm not saying we do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> context. The, we named the context them right before of the, the, the story. They're mm -hmm. all named new things. I. <laughs> every time. <laughs> and Pip will make sure everyone knows them. <laughs> Okay. Um, it's actually within the day that you come within view of the of the canyon itself. Um, you've been there before. You, you, if you remember the the door to Nowhere Tower is in a is in a cave that is built into the cliff of the 
canyon itself, and you had to come out of that and then climb up in order to get to the spot you're at today. Mm -hmm. Uh, so eventually following Trogan, who even better than Aaron, seems to know this place like the back of his hand. Uh, Tekka, you are able to keep up with him just fine. He doesn't take as many rests as you would like. And when you try, um, if any would try to request one, he doesn't understand and he keeps going. <laughs> um, but at least uh, he, you do have horses to keep up with him. Uh, he points at them and laughs like he's never seen anything like this. And it's amazing. It's made his day. Um, and eventually you you reach the canyon itself and you are at the very top. So you can see this enormous, just empty space directly in front of your feet. And then uh, way further up ahead, the opposite wall of the canyon that goes all the way up to your height. Uh, and... Uh, Shogun would point uh, instead to the right, uh, so to the north. Uh, imagine that uh, like the the big part of the canyon is like this. Uh, that's the bottom of it, the, the valley itself. Uh, and so you're at the top, and he's pointing like in this direction, and he says the word "home," my home. Um, and then he, saying that he begins to climb down, would not be quite be the right word because he walks down. He's almost entirely horizontal compared to the uh, the cliff, but he just clings to it with incredible ease. Um, he doesn't have any he doesn't have any shoes or any gloves, uh, and yet somehow he's able to just climb down with uh, in, in a way where like Arian points and, and says yeah, this is why I said we can do that. And he sighs and begins to like produce a harness and uh, I just so, wear Yeah? Out of curiosity, I think watching him climb down What's what's uh um aura look like? What's the dream world look like over here? You want to pop in real quick yeah. and take a look? Yeah, yeah. We're getting more comfortable with this. Just Okay. She remembers that when she saw, I forgot his name, like through his eyes of like running from things and then popping from one to the other to like get past obstacles. Mm hmm. Uh, so while Arian is busy preparing a way for you guys to climb safely down, um, Viren vanishes for a few moments. Um, you take a look at the dream world and the first thing that is immediately obvious is just the color the shifting color where the rock here was yellow and orange and red and it kind of goes in in this uh gradient from the bottom all the way up uh and where you are it's the, just the deepest red um the in the dream world instead it is shades of blue uh, but the landscape itself, for the most part, it is almost unchanged. The canyon is almost exactly the same. There's details that are different. There's a few more plant life uh, in the dream world than the, there is otherwise in the waking one. Um, but the differences are not enough where it would be easier to climb down in this world rather than the other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, you come back to, uh, to the waking world to find that Darren uh, is done setting up a harness. You guys will have to lower yourselves one at a time. Green uh, does have her own climbing gear too, so. Okay. Ooh, two at a time. Two at a time. There once was a discussion about once you would get to the gorge to possibly stop by uh, the cave and the door and go to Tinhart. Um, but is that abandoned now that you, um, you're instead going to, um, to, to follow Trogan? I don't think we need to, because we don't even have everything we need to return to him, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, only some also, of it. Also, I like this guy. 
<laughs> so yeah, I, I guess we carry on. Oh, you know what, uh, um, Virion? Hmm? Um, something you would notice since you went into the dream world, actually. Uh, I mentioned there's more vegetation here. Uh -huh. That flower he gave you, it grows yeah. here. You see a handful of them around. Huh. Noted. Uh, okay. You will be climbing down after him, following his uh, his lead. Uh, Tekka, you attempting to sort of erase him. And uh, uh, in that case, I'm just going to call the session here, and we can continue uh, next week. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I didn't think you could make an NPC that I like more than Boovin. <laughs> You've gone uh, and done it. I've, I've had Chogan ready for a while. I was looking forward to, to playing him. I like him. A He's lot. wonderful. <laughs> uh, and yeah. I, I yeah. shall end the stream here. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.